Hey everyone, Houston Math Prep here to introduce Power Series to you. An infinite series with the form sum from 0 to infinity of a sub n times x to the n is called a power series. Our a sub n's are just the coefficients for each term. So that just basically is saying that each term has a coefficient, obviously, in our series. Um, and the x to the n part tells us that each term is going to have a whole number that is non-negative, a whole number power of the variable, usually going to be x. Uh, so our example here, the a sub 0, that is basically the constant term, but that's the coefficient for the x to the 0 term. Our a sub 1 is the coefficient for the x to the power 1 term, a sub 2 for the x squared term. So you can basically see the subscript for a, right, if it's a sub 3, then that's the x cube coefficient. So that's an easy way to tell which coefficient we're talking about whenever we have a sub something. So a sub 10 is going to go with the x to the 10th term, for example. Here's just a quick example of a very basic looking power series. I have 1 plus x plus x squared plus x cubed plus x to the fourth, etc. Uh, so you can see, I think we're starting out with x to the 0, x to the 1, x squared, x cubed. And really all we have are just basic powers of x and all of the coefficients are the same in this case, right? So in summation notation, we would say from power 0 to infinity, we just have x to those powers, right? Where those powers are all integers. Um, and in this case, certainly the coefficients are actually all 1 for each term. If we look at another example, this is a bit different, right? So we notice right away we have some fraction coefficients for our terms. We have 1 plus x squared over 2 plus x to the 4 over 4 plus x to the 6 over 6, etc. Uh, so you'll notice, I guess, probably our powers are actually going up by 2 this time. And another pattern that goes along with that, you might see that the denominator matches exactly what power of x we have in that term, right? So we have 1 over 6 in the x to the 6 term. You've also probably noticed that these are all even powers, so actually the coefficients for all of our odd power terms are actually zero. So you're not required to have every single power represented when you write a power series. Some of the coefficients, and in this case many of the coefficients, are zero. If we talk about a power series, the sum from 0 to infinity, a sub n, x to the n, the power series form that we've been looking at so far, that's a power series that's centered at x equals 0. If we look at a different type of power series, where it's the sum from 0 to infinity of a sub n, and then we have a quantity x minus some constant to the n, then that's a power series that is centered at that constant. Okay, So if we have x minus c to powers, in our power series formula, then that's the power series that's centered at x equals c. And center of a power series is very important because a power series will always converge at its center. That's a property that will always be true. Here we just have a couple of examples. This top one, a very common power series that we would see, the sum from 0 to infinity of x to the n over n factorial. This is actually the power series for e to the x. We'll get to some of those details later, but we have 1 plus x plus x squared over 2 factorial plus x cubed over 3 factorial, so we're getting factorials as our denominators. In this case, you look at the bottom one, it's very similar, uh, but you'll notice we have x minus 3 quantity to the n over n factorial, so each of our terms actually has x minus 3 to a power represented when we write it out as a list of terms. If you look at how the variables are written in each of these power series, you should be able to tell that the top series here is centered at x equals 0, where the bottom series here is actually centered at x equals 3. In our next video, we want to talk to you about convergence of power series and for what values a power series might converge. It turns out that a power series can converge at other values besides the center. We know it's guaranteed from this video to converge at the center, but it may possibly converge at other values as well. Convergence of power series is our next video in our series. Check that one out. We'll see you in the next one.